Good morning, everybody, from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Got Old Blue all ready to go. I'm gonna walk into the Road 66 Travel Center here just west of the city. The massive casino right over there. It's tempting to go and just check it out. I'm not a big gambler myself, but uh, every once in a while, I'll kind of 20, 40 bucks in the slot machine, try my luck. But no time today, no time. I gotta get going. Though it is tempting because, you know, when's the next time I'm going to be in New Mexico, right? I can see the sights. I can't always go see them up close. I can see them from the highway or from the truck stop. One downside. <laughs> Paid tourists. Not quite. get started today's shout out goes to our friends at beaver bitcoin beaverbitcoin.com slash trucker josh is where canadians can go to stack bitcoin go check them out the link is down below in the description below the video let's get back to it so there's got to be about three to five hundred truck parking spots here and there was plenty of space to park when i got here at two in the morning we're in mountain time so two in the morning half the lot was empty so if you're looking for parking in new mexico apparently there's another road 66 just like this about a half hour west half hour west of here we're on i-40 this is exit 140. it's a nice place to park for the night we are ready to rock and roll got the air conditioning going it is nice and icy cold coming through the vents it's good temperature outside is 30 degrees celsius Woo! What is 30 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 30 degrees Celsius is equal to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo! 86 Fahrenheit. Okay, I'm excited. That's a good way to start the day. That is a very good way to start the day. The trailer's attached, awesome. Glad that air conditioning works. All right, now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Maybe I can follow this Passage FedEx guy. 86 Fahrenheit, don't buy yo. Proceed to the highlighted route. In 200 feet, turn right on I 4 based. turn right into me thought for a second there he was gonna turn right into me yeah I'm gonna follow mr. FedEx right back to interstate 40 we're gonna head westbound through the rest of New Mexico At the roundabout, take the first exit in 0 .2 miles. into Phoenix stop sign there for some reason. Fuel economy has been absolutely amazing all the way down. This load is the perfect height. It's only 7,000 pounds. The air is just slipping around my truck, not getting caught on anything on the trailer and just slipping right around it. We've been averaging about seven miles per US gallon which is really good for, for us. We usually average around six to six and a half.
now, and we're coming into Gallup, New Mexico, or we just went through Gallup, New Mexico, coming up to the truck stop. I'm going to pull into the TA, there's a blue beacon there. Get the truck washed. Still got to look at the map and see sort of where this truck stop is located, if it's in a town or not. Maybe we'll go do our walk for the day there. Get the blood moving a little bit. big lineup some guys don't move up all the time when there's a lineup you guys notice this like if, if you're in a line of trucks there's always that one guy who just sits still and lets the trucks in front of them get way in front of them before they start slowly inching forward so that their e-log doesn't click over right usually happens at the border when you're trying to cross the border and you slowly 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 everybody behind them has to slowly crawl along wearing out their clutch Ah, that's okay. If there was a lineup behind me, that would, it would be a problem because then they'd be lined out onto the road, right? Um, I'm sure he'll move up once that guy gets into the truck's truck wash over there. You see him? Once he goes in, I'm sure that he'll move up then. I hope so anyways, because I can't make this corner around here unless he moves. 
Wouldn't that be awful if he was broke down here? And I'd have to back all the way out. Back to the street. Ah. Now we wait. You know one thing I really wish these seatbelts had? I wish I could adjust this to down here. This this like the seatbelt is way too high up there. Like look at look at where this thing sits on me. Like when I'm sitting back. It's like across my neck. It should be like down here. This thing needs to be able to slide up and down. I'm wondering if I can get an aftermarket seatbelt that will like, you know, bolt into this mount here, but there's a thing on it that I can slide it down. You guys ever heard of that? Cause this is just annoying. Like when I'm sitting here like this driving, this is what it looks like. It doesn't even touch. Oh, he's moving up now. Just like I thought, that guy went in and he's moving up. So I'm gonna move up behind him too. I'm going to do the trailer too. Not my trailer, but my treat. I want a clean unit, not just a clean truck, so. Plus they wash my tarps at the same time then, what they could get to, so. Win-win for me, right? Oh, they got the headache rack cleaned off there. Truck needs a polish, but <clears throat> it's looking good. Look at these rims, not even rusted out. Looks much better now. Much better. Now we can show up to our customer tomorrow morning with a little bit of pride. The clean truck. That looks so much better. Can't wait till I can get those wheels, tanks, and steps polished this year yet. Makes a trucker excited. Just thinking about it. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go for a walk. There's a residential neighborhood right over there, you can see it. There's a road that goes around over there that leads to it. I'm gonna walk up and down there until I reach my three miles. Get my three mile minimum in today. So, it's about a half mile to get around from the truck stop to here. So those are those buildings we could see from the truck. So my truck is right over there. Probably I can see it from here. Camera's a little fish eye, so you might not be able to see it, but there's my blue tarps. But a half mile to get around to here. Now I'm going to uh, get two and a half miles done in this neighborhood here. And then the last half mile will be going back around to the truck. So that'll equal three miles if you're uh, keeping track of the math. <laughs> I don't know why I explained that to you like that, but... Gallup, New Mexico. Gallup, like a horse galloping. Gallup. No grass. Oh, well, a little bit. Is that grass? It's like bushes. And I'm out here in a t-shirt. Hot. It's so interesting that these houses here don't have any like, lawn. There's no lawn at all. Easy maintenance, eh? I guess you can't grow lawn here. Really nice homes though. gravel. That's so interesting to me. Hmm. 
Guess you don't have to mow your lawn. Truck is clean. I've got my walk in. I went in, had a good meal. TA truck stops have pretty good food inside there. Now we're ready to go the rest of the way. The last leg of the journey. 360 miles. First, we gotta dodge these life-altering potholes and get back onto I-40. Really glad my air conditioning works. truck stop here and there's more parking here than at the pilot and I see palm trees already finally took me all the way to Chernobyl all the way down here these are the first palm trees I've seen I was beginning to think that that it wasn't gonna be any I was getting scared well we don't need those now where's my entrance how do I get in there there it is over here. Look at these beautiful palm trees. I didn't see any 
thinking of New Mexico. Does New Mexico not have palm trees? If not one. And I was there during daylight hours. Where I wanted to enter. Let's go see. According to Trucker Path, the app, there is many spaces available here right now. When guys are parking out here, it makes me think that there's not any parking spots left. I hope that the app was right. Usually it's pretty accurate. I could park along the side here if I need to, but I'm gonna go take a look around first. Wow, this is a big truck stop. It's huge. Okay, I see some spots back here. I mean, it's all the way in the back of the lot, but that's okay. Oh yeah, lots, There's lots. Well, I took the safest, best spot I could find. I'm in the back. There's one, two, three, four empty spots on this side of me, and two empty spots on that side of me. So if anybody wants to park right beside me, they have plenty of space to do so without hitting me, hopefully. Speaking of which, this guy just did a U-turn. Are you coming to park right beside me? I hope not. just parked. I was kind of hoping that nobody would come back here to park beside me. Where are you going? Well, if he does, he does. That's what it is. It is what it is. No, he's going. He's going, he's going, he's going, he's gone. He's gone. But it is what it is. Some nights, parking is riskier than other nights. I like to be in 100% uh, risk-free parking where no one's going to back into me, hit me, or have their trailer rear end swing out and hit me or drag the trailer over me but you can only take so much precaution some nights you just you just got to take what's available and this isn't a bad spot not too bad so I'll show you what it looks like here and then we'll head to bed still nice and clean man if I only ran on these US highways all the time and didn't have to go up to Canada my truck would stay clean a lot longer I got as close back there as I could to that truck back there I leave as much space up here I can I can hope for tonight. It's pretty hot out. This truck in front of me there has some pretty cool lights. Oh yeah. You see that? Is the camera picking it up? He has the halos around his headlights like I do, except his are like changing color, like green, blue, back to green, back to blue. That's super cool. And he has the green lights up above his cab there. See, I'd love to have that for my truck, except with blue, blue lights. I like that. But anyway, we are in Tonopa, Arizona. We have arrived. Tomorrow morning we unload and this whole trip comes to an end. It took four days to get down here, not four full days, but on Friday we left in the evening, we drove, what was it, 300 miles or so into the night, and then we drove, what, 600 miles day two, 600 miles day three, 600 miles, or 500 miles today on day four. So it was, it was four days of driving to get down here, and uh, it's hot. I gotta blast my air conditioning here right now, cool the truck down, <laughs> and then shut it off. See, I have a bunk heater to keep my bunk warm when it gets cold at night. It's not equipped to keep the cab cool at night because I'm used to nights being cool on their own. So uh, <laughs> now that we're down here in Arizona, 
it's gonna be hot tonight and uh, so I'm gonna cool it into it I'm gonna cool it right down to an ice box in here so it's as cold as I can get it I'm actually gonna turn the back ones on too right away just right down to sub-zero Canadian temperatures just to make me feel nice at home nice nice and cold so I can fall asleep quick and we'll shut the truck off and fall asleep and hopefully by the time it gets a little warmer in here I'm already fast asleep and I don't notice but I'll be awake when the sun comes up, probably about 6.30 in the morning. I'll be awake because it'll start getting hot really quick. I have screens in here, maybe I should install them. But the thing is if I cool my truck cap down right now and then I open my windows and put my screens in there, all my cold air gets out. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably wake up at like 6 or 6.30 in the morning because it's gonna start getting warm. Then I'll open my windows, put my screens in there so I can get fresh air through here. Then I don't have to, uh, I can do it that way or I can put them in now. Well, now I'm overthinking things again. Let's just go to bed. Thanks for hanging out with me on this trip down to Arizona. Tomorrow we unload and uh, still don't have a reload. I've been bugging the load gods today. I said, make it rain. I want money. Hoping that there's some good paying loads leaving Arizona, going to Canada or somewhere nearby here, going to Canada. Because I can't pick up freight in the States and deliver it in the States, that's illegal. Like, Canadian citizen so what I have to do is pick up freight in the states and go that goes directly back to Canada no stops along the way I can do multiple pickups along the way as long as the stops are all in Canada I can't stop in the states Does that makes sense I think that makes sense so let's hope the money gods smile upon me tomorrow Let's make sure that the, the one above all of them, the one that matters up there, the Father, hopefully he uh, hears my prayers tonight and sends me down something good. We'll see what happens. Take care, everybody. Stay safe out there. Drive safe. Keep your stick on the ice. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. We're going to be making videos all the way back up to Canada from here once we get reloaded. If you want to tune in tomorrow to see what happens. Who knows where we're going to be going. Maybe back home, maybe out to Alberta, I don't know, Ontario. We'll see. What, I might have to reset on my way home. How many hours do I have left? I have 32 hours left on my my hours available. I might have to reset on the way home. Ugh. I don't think I can make it home on that. Maybe if I go directly straight home from here. It depends where the reload is. We'll see. I might have to go into New Mexico. I might have to go up to Utah. Who knows? We'll have to go all the way back to Colorado for a good reload. We'll see. Oh. We'll find some. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. If you want to support the channel one step further, you watch every day, you want to take that extra step, go down below the video or onto my main page, click the Join Now button. You can become a premium member. You can get early access to all of my videos before everybody else. 